Smith early, his quickness is going to give him a lot of confidence. Well, hang on because the heavyweight explosion is just about to ready to get underway here in Atlantic City. And the third man that will be on our announcing crew today will be Michael Buffer, our ring announcer. And he's ready for the introduction of our first fight of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, Jumbo, Cash and Carry present the heavyweight explosion live from Merv Griffin's Resorts Casino here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. All the bouts you see this afternoon are sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board, Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard Sr., Chairman Jerry Gormley, Board Members Gary Shaw and Al Daniels, Deputy Commissioner Lawrence Wallace, three physicians in attendance at ringside, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Frank B. Doggett, Attending Physicians Dr. Dominic Coletta Jr. and Dr. Earl Shaw, the timekeeper is Lindsay Tucker, and the three judges assigned to score this bout on the 10-point must system are Vinnie Renoni, Gene Williams, and Joseph Pasquale. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds of boxing. This is in the heavyweight division. The referee for this fight is Tony Perez. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the green trunks and weighing in at 236 pounds from Long Beach, California. His professional record, 14 and 3, 10 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Ford. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red trunks with white trim, weighing in at 265 pounds from Bowie's Creek, North Carolina. His professional record, 34 victories, 27 by KO, against 11 defeats with one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former heavyweight champion of the world, James Bone Crusher Smith. Over here at ringside, and we'll be ready for the start of this fight. Bone Crusher Smith against Kevin Ford here in Atlantic City. Just enjoying fighting at 40 and making a payday here and there. A left hook at 265 pounds. That had some steam behind him. He's got Ford in trouble early. Kevin Ford needs to tie up Bone Crusher right now. He needs to get that left jab going and use those legs. Move around this ring. Move this big man around this ring. Bone Crusher Smith knows full well at 40 years of age he must get things done early. And he's come out with a flurry in round one. Kevin yep. Ford from Long Beach, California, fading out of Fayetteville, North Carolina, is James Bone Crusher Smith. And Smith has had the upper hand in round one. Kevin Ford doesn't want to be sitting on the ropes against this guy, Sam. There's no doubt about it. He wants outside. He's looking to drop a big overhand right hand on Bone Crusher Smith. That's his favorite punch. He needs to work that jab and move his legs around. Move his legs around. There's another left hook and a right cross that scored well from underneath by Bone Crusher Smith against Ford. Ford coming off a loss to Joe Hip. That was in April of this year. By the way, he's lost twice to the left-handed Indian, Joe Hip. A very tough fighter to fight, and now he's in with another in Smith. No shame to lose to Joe Hip like he did. He's looking for Bone Crusher's big right hand, and he's been suffering at the hands of Bone Crusher's left hook, and there he catches him again. Combination by Smith forces Ford to fight off the ropes. Kevin's very willing in this fight, though, Sam. He's not shown any tendency to be gun shy with big, big Bone Crusher. But he doesn't want to be sitting on those ropes. He wants to be in the middle of the ring. That's where Kevin Ford needs to be, at least certainly early in this fight. Bone Crusher has lost his last two fights. He lost in February to Michael Moore, lost in 10 rounds there, and had lost in June to Greg Page of 1992, also a 10-round decision. Almost a who's who when you start talking about who Bone Crusher Smith has lost to and who he's defeated as the former world champion, winning the WBA title back in December of 1986. You One, see two. things have at least have quietened down here, Bob, after a flurry of about the first minute and a half of this first round. That's right, but that's what you'd expect. And there, a big right hand hurt Bone Crusher. Kevin Ford lands that overhand right hand, and he staggered Bone Crusher Smith. Oh, what a way to battle your way right back into a fight. Looked like he was almost going to be going down early in the first round, but he's fought on it. Ford against Smith to get ready on our heavyweight explosion from Atlantic City. Well, we promised you some fireworks, and we have not gone too far away from what we expected. There's a good look at Bone Crusher Smith all 265 pounds of him taking a well-deserved rest 
40 years old. And on the other side, 31-year-old Kevin Ford. Ford seemed to rebound quite nicely, thank you, after after he took quite a pounding there by Smith, particularly early in round one, Bob. He really did. He had his back to the ropes here. Smith hits him with that left hook and staggers him. He ends up in the corner. Smith tries to finish him. But the hardest part of this fight, I and mean, this fight will get easier. This fight will get easier. There's the overhand right hand landed by Ford, and Crusher's legs betrayed him a little bit there, Sam. The longer this fight goes, the better it is for Kevin Ford, and he knows that. Jake Morton working in one corner. Billy Hearns along with Phil Garcia and the other for Ford as they get the seconds out, getting ready for round two. Second round of our heavyweight explosion as we have James Boak, Grown Crusher Smith in the red and Kevin Ford in the green. And the bomb started falling early. Smith in the early part of round one. Ford came back with a punctuation right hand at the end of the round. And now he seems here, Bob Spagnola, as if he wants to be a little more active in round two. Uh, he's moving his head. He's showing movement. And he's using his legs and walking Bone Crusher around here. Now Bone Crusher's holding. Kevin wants to have his back, his back foot in the middle of this ring. That's just where he wants to fight this guy, Sam. Bone Crusher is circling right into the right hand, and you saw Ford try to load it up and land it right there. You know? Bone Crusher Smith, I mentioned, won the WBA title back in December of 86. He lost his first title defense. 12 rounds with Mike Tyson, he lost the title. That was the WBA, WBC combined there, and also lost in an IBF title shot against Larry Holmes in November of 84. He was KO'd in the 12th round by Holmes. Right hand landed by Smith there, but not cleanly like in the first round. Bone Crusher is going to start to conserve his energy even at this stage. A little low blow there by Bone Crusher. Tony Perez picks that right up. Excellent official in here tonight. Bob, you made mention that Ford wanted his right foot right in the center of the ring. He got away from that a little bit, and Smith was able to score. Now Ford is right back where he wants to be. It's speed and youth against strength and experience here, and, you know, as this fight continues, Bone Crusher is just going to get slower. You know, he's got he's going to be all plumped up, pumped up. The lactic acid's going to build up in his arms, and he's going to be moving slower and slower. And Kevin Ford's going to be building up more and more more and more uh, confidence in himself, as we can see right there, Sam, letting his punches go. Dr. Bob Spagnola working with us here at ringside. Sam Smith, glad you could join us on our heavyweight explosion. As we have got the bombs loading up and falling early. Another right hand by Smith. Another one fed to Ford. A big right hand underneath by Smith. Who's and holding Ford now? Right back. Who's holding now, Sam? It's the crusher. Smith starting to feel it from Ford. Good left hook by Big Bone Crusher. You have to be so careful with Bone Crusher because at 265 pounds, a one big punch can turn this fight absolutely upside down. It's been a good one so far. Several of our regional affiliates will be breaking for a commercial. Come back with more of our heavyweight explosion from Atlantic City. Well, for round three, this is Sam Smith along with Bob Spagnola, heavyweight explosion. Red Resorts International here in Atlantic City. And you can see Kevin Ford in the green has come right back out as he did in round two and tries to take the fight to Smith. Bob, how about the scoring unofficial in your card through the first two rounds? Well, I had Bone Crusher win in the first round 10-9 and Kevin Ford taken back over in the second round. Ford seems very confident right now. He's letting his hands go. He's working a good, strong jab. Bone Crusher's looking for one punch. Yeah, it's really unbelievable how quickly Bone Crusher can take you out of a rhythm. You saw Ford feeding him that left jab, trying to set up a right hand, and a big left hook by Smith just absolutely backed him up to the ropes. But at this stage of Bone Crusher's career, he's got to have both feet per firmly planted on the canvas in order to land a shot. That's why Kevin does not want to be where he is right now, Sam. He doesn't want to be sitting on those ropes. He wants to be boxing in the middle of the ring, taking care of, taking advantage of that athleticism, that those quick hands and those quick feet of Kevin Ford. A top athlete is Ford. He was the 1986 Police Association League, the PAL national champion, as he works on Smith in the center of the ring, hitting with a big right hand. Smith trying to counter back. 
before and went on in 1988 to win the National Golden Glove Super Heavyweight title. Smith with a right hand backs Ford up. Right hand counter lands for Bone Crusher Smith, but it's all Kevin Ford right now. And you can tell that from the expression on Bone Crusher's face. But he can turn it around any second, Sam. We know that. Back to finish my point on Ford, an outstanding athlete in high school, both in basketball and football. Did not have an opportunity to go on and enjoy his scholarships in college because of a curriculum problem in high school. Started boxing and has been boxing only nine years. And right now, he is boxing very much his senior, Bone Crusher Smith. And you see what the bone wants to do. Bone Crusher just let it go there, and now he's going to be resting. He just landed some good shots on Kevin, tried to get him out of there. Kevin's trying to answer a few of his own. Bone Crusher, a very bright, very intelligent man when you talk to him. Comes out of North Carolina, knows exactly what he's doing. Even at the age of 40, he said, hey, I'm having fun. One of the few college graduates to hold the heavyweight championship of the world, Sam. Or might be the only. Well, I tell you, you've got the trivia buffs running to the book after that summit. Good right hand by Smith. Runs him back again. So round number three has once again been an action-packed round as Smith again has battled Kevin Ford. Ford desperately trying to take the advantage of the round, but Smith refuses to wilt. The right hand by Ford kind of punctuates the end of the third round here in Atlantic City. James Bonecrusher Smith on the right, Kevin Ford. They have stood toe-to-toe -to -toe through three rounds so far as they battle into the fourth of a scheduled 10 rounder. Good head movement on the way of Kevin Ford. He's not going to sit there and get pot shotted by the crusher now at this stage of the fight. Bob, you, his head. Bob, you had to fight even after two rounds. How about round number three? Who won got, that one? I've got Ford taking control of the fight, winning the third round, landing the cleaner punches, although he just threw himself into the ropes there, Sam. And there's a big right hand up on Bone Crusher's head again. Kevin Ford desperately trying to do something that will kind of take away the spirit of Bone Crusher Smith. He's thrown the good combinations. He's tried to lead with the left hand and throw the right behind it. But Bone Crusher, every time Ford gets a little rhythm going, will throw one major punch that kind of turns it back around again. He's trying to get some respect for Bone Crusher, and he doesn't want him resting. But Bone Crusher will rest two minutes of a round and fight one minute. But that one minute can be a heck of a thing to go through. Kevin Ford is trying to pick his spots to fight, not let Bone Crusher pick his. One thing Ford said at the weigh-in, and Bob, you have a good relationship on the fact you worked with him in his early days. He said he felt it was in the best shape he's been in in a long, long time. That's a good sign he's ready to fight. Yeah, Kevin Kevin's a, was a really a natural athlete for a fighter. He started later on. He's, he's, really, he's got a strong family behind him, as I said in the opening, Sam, and he, he really seems focused about this fight and confident. It's, it's a tough situation when you're coming in and fighting an ex-heavyweight champion. You know, you know you're generally nothing but an opponent, but he really seems focused in a positive frame of mind here today. One thing is you watch Bone Crusher Smith. Watch when he gets inside. He may have to load that right and left hand up, but he also still possesses a pretty good sharp punch from very short range. Look how quickly he can throw that for a guy that stands 6'4 and weighs 265 pounds, and he throws it with authority. Even though Kevin Ford is a big man, Sam, kind of seemed like he's a gnat pestering this big old guy here. Every time Crusher <laughs> tries to get set, tries to do something, he's got Kevin Ford cleaning up on him. Not many people before this fight would anticipate where this fight might end. Oh, Crusher Smith, as I told you earlier, has already gone 10 rounds consecutive with Michael Moore and Greg Page, and they expected him probably to stay around here with Kevin Ford as well. But would Ford withstand the big punches of Bone Crusher Smith? Many felt that he could, and so that leads to possibility of going the full 10 as we finish round number four. So round number Smith being worked on by his corner, and it's almost amazing to watch the George Foremans, the Larry Holmes, and now Bone Crusher Smith, how well they continue to compete, Bob. Well, you know, it, with age, they learn how to relax, Sam, and that's the important aspect of it.
Welcome to our heavyweight explosion as we blast our way into round number five here in Atlantic City. Kevin Ford, 236 pounds against 265 pound James Bone Crusher Smith, the former world champion. At 236 equates to 107 kilograms, 120 and two for the big weight for Bone Crusher Smith. Bone Crusher, does he look like he's tiring sufficiently for Ford to be able to take advantage here, Bob? Yeah, I, I think he's tiring noticeably, Sam, but, you know, he's still dangerous, and he's been through this before, you know, he's, he's used to being tired, and <laughs> uh, as I said in between rounds, you know, learning how to relax is such an important thing. George Foreman, as a young fighter, he put so much pressure on himself, it, it, he burnt off so much energy prior to the fight, as did Bone Crusher early on, you know, he's learned how to relax, he's He's not worried about things at this juncture in his life. He doesn't let this pressure and everything take him out of his game plan and burn off all this energy before. Whatever energy he's got, you're going to see right here in these fights. With well, a boxing writer's dinner held here in Atlantic City last night, there is a multitude of international press watching on and look at the world champion coming back again against Ford. A big right hand by the champion. Big push here by Bone Crusher Smith. He knows he's got to get Kevin Ford out here. He can't mess around and fight a 10-round decision with this young kid. I say young, Kevin's 30 years old. If you've ever ridden a life cycle, you know that sometimes you get to ride it downhill. But you know he's going to come the hills and you got to pedal up, and that's where Bone Crusher is right now. He started the hill that he's got to overcome if he hopes to win. Kevin Ford, what a disappointment it must be for him. He said, hey, I've hit him with everything I've got. I'm about nine years younger than he, and look at this guy. He keeps hitting me as hard as he ever did. But he's not exchanging. When, when Bone Crusher's punching, Kevin's covering. And then when Bone Crusher's resting, Kevin's fighting. And that's what Kevin Ford's got to do. He can't exchange punches with Bone Crusher Smith. He never had any intention of doing that. But after, that, after those volleys that Crusher landed about 45 seconds ago, he's got to rest right now, Sam. His muscles are all tired out. They're filled with blood and lactic acid. And he's got to You can look at him right now. He needs the rest. He's grabbing the ropes. Another thing, he knows exactly where it is in the round. He's in his own corner over there, and he's going to try to keep it right there. He'll lean against the ropes and wait for the final seconds, and you can see the strength as he pushes off Kevin Ford. Sends a 230-pound man flying across the ring <laughs> with a flick of the wrist. That'll give you some indication of the power of Bone Crusher. You can see Bone Crusher definitely resting as they try to get his hands off the rope. And he definitely will use up this one minute as now they've stopped action for a moment. And apparently the mouthpiece that came flying out, they're going to let him get it back in for the final seconds here. Oh, this is the fifth round. And Bone Crusher had to instruct the referee as to what was going on, Sam. Comes across the ring for round number six and is met by Kevin Ford. Bone Crusher moving around here, bouncing around here a little bit, Sam. You never know what he's got in that magic bag of his. You may mention that he tries to fight about a minute out of every round and just try to survive the other two, unless he can load up a big punch. But he mixes those minutes up. He yes, doesn't he does. start with the first 30 seconds and end with the last. He, he mixes it up. Sometimes it's in the middle of the round. Sometimes it's early in the round. He doesn't let the other corner say, hey, he's going to come out hard the first 30 seconds, and then he's finished for the rest of the round. I told you early in the fight that, of course, Kevin Ford is an outstanding high school athlete, both in basketball and football. He didn't start boxing until the age, really got in the gym at age 21, got his first fight at 22 as an amateur. And now at 31, he's kind of getting his life back together again. He was inspired to fight as well by his father, David, who was a fighter of his own in the pro ranks back in the 1950s. So he does get some of this talent legitimately from his father. Yes, and he's from a wonderful family, Sam. Very supportive. His parents have been married for 40 years, and his kid came from a very solid family background in Sacramento, California, and I know his parents are proud of him. Well, his wife, Vonda, along with their first son, John Jacob, born last September. Boy, is he proud of him. Even whipped out the picture on us at the, at the weigh-in yesterday. That's right, and got a very supportive wife. It's very important for a fighter, especially one that's had some trials and tribulations, to have that family support behind him. And Kevin Ford's got that going for him, Sam. Now, Kevin Ford almost coming to the point of just continuing to lean on Smith. Pretty good right hand thrown, and it added, ate a pretty good right hand thrown by Smith. But as long as Smith wants to lay on the ropes, there's not a lot that Kevin can do except to come over and try to throw some punches and try to 
force him to get off the ropes. So Smith's not going to move. Yeah, well, Kevin Ford's corner does not want him with his behind on that third rope at all, Sam. They want him in the middle of the ring. You know, they want him moving this guy around, making him use his legs. Bone Crusher's holding right now. He wants him right there next to him where he can throw a punch and know where he's going to be. Kevin Ford with 14 and 3. His record has 10 knockouts. But again, Bone Cruncher Smith, a tough man to get out of there with 34 wins, 11 losses, and one draw. 27 of those 34 wins that he has scored have come by the knockout round. Kevin's just slapping with some hooks in there, but he's keeping Crusher from getting started. That's what he wants to do, Sam. He's by him shooting, pulling the trigger first, he's preventing Bone Crusher from pulling it. One of the top boxing writers in the country is Burt Sugar. He's chewing on the cigar and matter of fact, chewing Chory pretty rapidly right now. That indicates he's kind of liking what he sees with Bone Crusher Smith against Kevin Ford on our heavyweight explosion from resorts in Atlantic City. Seventh round of a 10 round fight as the former WBA world champion Bone Crusher Smith fights a man that would like to have a shot at the world championship, Kevin Ford, but he knows that he must earn it with a victory today and several more as he makes another one of his comebacks after retiring a couple of times along the way. You can see Kevin Ford, he was standing right in front of Bone Crusher. He saw Crusher getting set, set so he took a step and moved around a little bit. He doesn't want to stand right in front of him and let him get set. He's got to use his legs, use his wheels, move this big guy around here. Keep him off balance, just like he's doing right now. You know, we already made mention that Bone Crusher Smith won the WBA title in December of 86. He did it in a quick fashion, a first round TKO of Tim Witherspoon. He lost it in his first defense as they've got a glove problem now. They're going to get the tape squared away here for once again Kevin Ford. But again, the first title defense by Bone Crusher losing in 12 rounds to Mike Tyson. Okay, just give me the he later, right later went on and lost in an IBF title shot to Larry Holmes, but did win the WBA America's title in April of 1990, winning a 12 round decision over Mike Weaver. So championships are no stranger to the Bone Crusher who's fighting here against Kevin Ford. Aspirations of fighting for another world title, probably not in his thoughts, but a payday and the love of fighting certainly is for the Bone. Yeah, I don't believe Bone Crusher is just doing this just strictly for the money. He enjoys himself. He enjoys the limelight. And he, he's a bright enough guy that he's taking control of his career. He's got some good people behind him, but uh, I'm sure Bone Crusher makes a lot of the decisions himself, Sam. You still see he's got that good, crisp right hand, and Ford feels both times that he throws it there. Digging the right hand that definitely was below the belt. Kevin definitely doesn't want to be sitting there on those ropes with Bone Crusher Smith. It's caught every starts every round in the middle of the ring, which is just where he wants to be. He's looking to land that roof looping right hand, which is his best punch, his favorite punch. The Bone Crusher's coming into it throughout this fight. As you take a good close look at Kevin Ford from our vantage point here at ringside, you can almost see, and now they've got a glove problem on the other side, and they'll get that straightened away for Bone Crusher Smith. But back to the point on Kevin Ford, it's almost to the point he's trying to look all over Bone Crusher to see where he's holding his left, where he's holding his right, which punch will score. He's almost like a computer right now, going through the things that he may be able to do against Bone Crusher Smith here. Well, he's shifting his weight and moving his head, Sam. That's what's important for Kevin Ford at this stage of the fight. He does not want to present a stationary tar target for Bone Crusher's power. We're in the final minutes of this, the seventh round. Ford again scoring in the last round. And has taken back a two-point advantage on our unofficial cards here, and I'll emphasize very unofficial. The three judges do the scoring here in this 10-point must system in New Jersey. A little bit of talking going on between these two combatants, and Bone Crusher tries a hook uppercut and can't quite catch Kevin Flush with it, but there's a good left hook by Bone Crusher. Well, they've let their fists do most of the talking so far. Now the Bone is trying to do a little psychological work on Ford. And just talking to Ford, a very sharp young man from Long Beach, California, he'll get right in that talking battle. And you know the fists will fly as we'll get ready to start round eight as they'll take a rest between rounds. Robert Middleman in the corner giving Crusher that advice. Work the jab, but he said, you got to throw punches, Crusher. you got to throw punches. 
got to throw to score. Heavyweight explosion enters round number eight with James Bone Crusher Smith in the red and Kevin Ford in the green. And they're encouraging Bone Crusher to become a little bit more active here. Kevin Ford, you know they want him to stay busy. So as they've loaded up some big point punches early in the fight, let's see what they have left here in the final three of the scheduled 10 rounder. Kevin Ford starting very strong on this round, staying busy, no heavy punches, but he's scoring points, Sam. Bone Crusher hadn't landed a punch in this round. You know, Bob, we think back to round number one, Bone Crusher actually had Ford in a little bit of trouble back in round one. He hit him with that big right hand and backed him all the way back to the ropes. And Kevin was trying to gather himself at that time. Rounds one and five, he had Kevin Ford in trouble. But that's not enough. Two rounds does not win a 10 round fight, Sam. <laughs> now they're going to take a timeout again. Bone Crusher Smith walking around. Apparently a equipment problem as Bone Crusher is going to go to the sideline. They're looking for some tape again to try to get those gloves no, squared away. Doesn't have his mouthpiece. Oh, he fight the whole. He's fought this whole round without a mouthpiece. Holy mackerel. Tony Perez is going to let him know, too. He won't allow that much. Bone Crusher's doing enough refereeing in this fight as it is. You know, it's almost like Bone Crusher says, hey, I'm going to go out without the mouthpiece and see if I get hit a couple of times, and then I'll tell him, hey, I don't have my mouthpiece. He's almost orchestrating these breaks to take a little extra rest. Yep, that, the old master. That's a he didn't go to school to eat his lunch. That's a guess on our part, but uh, if, it's not, if it's not correct, it's pretty close. Probably the toughest act that they have to follow today are those watching the timekeeper and back in our truck to try to keep the time correct in each of the rounds. So much stoppage in this fight, and now they stop again. And there's tape on the left glove is a problem. All of this going to the advantage of Bone Crusher Smith, again, able to take a rest. Kevin Ford on the other side being a little over anxious to say, hey, come on, I got to fight. Now Tony Lopez is over there to make sure that they're getting the tape in the right place that he wants. Bone Crusher comes out with a left hook. And Kevin hurt Ford Kevin Ford. Right into it. Well, he rested, and here he comes. And Ford goes down. Bone Crusher punching as he comes down, and there's a knockdown after the delays by Bone Crusher. Boy, has he orchestrated this in the eighth round or what? Ford they know they got to make right. it happen. Here he comes. Another right hand. Ford's in trouble. Another left right combination. Ford is taking all kind of punishment from Bone Crusher. Ford's almost out of here. And now there's going to be a standing eight count. Ford is trying to say he's not hurt, but he is in all kinds of trouble. And he's going to get everything Bone Crusher's got right now. Here it comes again as he runs at him in the corner. Three knockdown rule is in effect. One more time and he's out of here. But I would think that this Lopez has changed everything around here. here. Kevin Ford wisely holding. Closing seconds of the round. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell. And if Ford goes down, it could be over. He's going to survive the round to fight another one. see the doctor along with the referee Tony Lopez conversing and you saw quickly coming right out with a punch and then followed up after he was down by Bone Crusher. Let's take another look at it. It was later on in the round. Big left hooks by Bone Crusher Smith. That is just as important as the fact that even though he didn't get him out that was a 10-7 round minimum. Round number nine. What will it bring for Kevin Ford? It brings on more of the same as Bone Crusher Smith goes right to work. But Bone Crusher can't put pressure on like that for three minutes. He just doesn't have it in him. See how Kevin Ford can recover here and see what he can do because Bone Crusher is still tired from the last round. By the way, a 10-7 round by Bone Crusher Smith on our unofficial card tightens it up to a draw so far, 75 all on the cards. So how quickly a fight can turn around. Certainly our scoring at ringside, very unofficial. The three judges 
will have the scoring at the end of the fight, and it appears that it could go the full 10 rounds now, even though Ford got in desperate trouble in the eighth. Tremendous action for heavyweight, Sam. This fight's had ebb and flow, it's had power shots, it's had strategy, it's had everything. The old against the new. And Bone Crusher wants a timeout again here. This is what he's trying to do. He's trying to rest when he wants to and fight when he wants to. Well, I think your scenario of the fight, we told him it was heavyweight explosion, and that's exactly what we're getting. You even see Bone Crusher kind of hamming it for our cameras here at ringside, and now they're going to work on that glove again. If I were in this situation with Tony Lopez, I would be in that corner between the last round and say, fellas, here's what we're going to do. If we have to put three pounds of tape on that glove, it will not happen again. You can see the expression on Larry Hazard, the commissioner here at face. He's not a happy camper, Sam. And you can see him putting a little extra tape on his time rather than just once around. Look at him. They're spinning it on both gloves. And you can see Bone Crusher taking some giant gulps of air there. Bone Crusher may not have a lot of money left after he pays for the tape at ringside. Well, here it goes again. They stopped time and we're off and running again and not round number nine. Kevin Ford being warned for possibly coming in with a head against Bone Crusher. Sometimes a little tough to avoid when Bone Crusher comes in head first at you. Yeah, Bone Crusher's been bending at the wrist, bending at the waist here. He landed a good right hand counter on Kevin, kind of stopped him in his traps there. And there it goes again. And a left hook follow. He's got Ford in trouble again, Sam. And he's and he knows the it. body. And he knows it. There's going to be a standing eight count, and this one's over. Bone Crusher Smith has scored a knockout of the ninth round. James Bone Crusher Smith with a powerhouse combination puts Kevin Ford out of this fight in the ninth round and comes up with a victory on our heavyweight explosions from Atlantic City. Well, the two fighters, let's go quickly upstairs. Let's go to Michael Buffer. Time, two minutes of round number nine. The winner by TKO, former heavyweight champion James Bone Crusher Smith. Bone Crusher Smith is the winner by the knockout in the ninth round. Bone Crusher kind of turning to the reporters. Bob Spagnuolo is up there with him. We'll give him just a second to get in position. And let's go upstairs to Bob Spagnuolo. Here's Bob. I got Bone Crusher Smith here with me. How do you feel after that, Crusher? A lot of hard work? Man, I tell you, I used to be young too. Damn. <laughs> it was a 40-year-old against a 30-year-old, and experience came over youth. That's right. I, I knew I was hurting with the punches. And... Uh, you just got to go back and lose a little weight and get in better condition. All right, congratulations, Crusher. Thank you very much. Can you hear me good? Back to you, Sam. So Bone Crusher Smith again comes up with a victory here at Atlantic City and does it the old-fashioned way. He earns it. And again, orchestrated not only the pauses and the breaks, first of all, coming out without a... 40-year-old man that's been fighting most of his life and comes out without a mouthpiece. Think about that for a moment. As we'll be right on the boardwalk in Atlantic City has been the site of today's start of our heavyweight explosion. And as we get ready for our continuation of more of our battling going on here at ringside, uh, they are waiting for the other fighters to coming up as they clean out the ring, getting ready for the other fighters to come in. Again, we cannot tell you once again, uh, Michael Moore has stepped alongside. I, I assume I'm supposed to talk to uh, Michael over here. Michael, first of all, thanks for coming in. I was not aware that we were going to do the interview right now. First of all, uh, Bone Crusher Smith comes up and has this kind of fight. What, what did you see here tonight in this fight? Well, Kevin came out and uh, he took it right to Bone Crusher. And I, I guess Kevin and uh, Billy Hearns had seen that no one had ever taken it to Bone Crusher, maybe Tyson or whatever. But uh, he did what he had to do and came out and uh, was effective. And uh, he just put the pressure on me. I, th I think he tried to wear him down after a while. You had an opportunity to uh, fight, of course, uh, Bone Crusher Smith uh, in, late in his career and, of course, early in your career. Uh, tell us about fighting the Bone Crusher. What, uh, what happened in that fight with you? Uh, well, that was the first fight when I was with the Duva camp. And uh, I, was, I was basically working on a jab and using, using my boxing generalship. And that's what I was working on in the gym. But, uh, I mean, now I got everything down fine-tuned. <laughs> but... Uh, that was something that happened back then. 
Michael Moore will be on one of our heavyweight explosions coming up in the month of September, but this is a guy that has come mostly from the cruiserweight division and is fighting as a heavyweight. Has that been a problem for you, kind of coming up in weight a little bit, Michael? Well, it was a light heavyweight. I bypassed the cruiserweight. Right. Um, I was walking around at 200 pounds, okay. making 175, and it was something that was tearing my body down. I was defeating myself from growing. So I told Emmanuel at the time that I couldn't make it anymore because I was my last fight as a light heavyweight in Pittsburgh. I was uh, I was feeling real weak and tired, and I never experienced that before. And that was because of the the weight that I had lost. But uh, now that I had moved up. I, I knew that I can carry the frame because I have the frame for uh -huh. I can carry the weight. And uh, I'm glad that I did it. I'm glad I did it. Well, he makes the move and comes all the way up and is certainly one of the contenders for the heavyweight championship of the world, Michael Moore. And he visits with us here at ringside at Inter Resorts International. Evander Holyfield lost his title in one of the great fights in heavyweight history. He wants his title back. First, Holyfield has to defeat the Destroyer, Alex Stewart. Vinny Pazienza broke his neck. Experts said he'd never fight again. The experts didn't know Vinny Paz. Next, Paz fights Lloyd Hunnigan. Paz beat the broken neck. Can he survive two-time world champion Hunnigan? June 26, live from Atlantic City, Holyfield Stewart has the Enza Hunnigan. Only the strong survive. If you're national, we are in the Coconut Ballroom here, and as you see our scene set, there's a good crowd that has filed in already. And as a matter of fact, directly across from us is Reddick Bowe, the, the heavyweight champion of the world right now. Of course, the other, as Michael pointed out, is Lennox Lewis from London, and he is a man that uh, certainly would like to have a mix uh, coming up. And uh, a couple of these guys, certainly Corey Sanders at 18-0, would like to get in the mix either against Lennox Lewis or possibly against Reddick Bowe, and that'll be our main event coming up as Corey Sanders, 18-0, against Burt Cooper. Sam Smith along with Bob Spagnola. Boy, you were kind of bouncing around in that ring with uh, Bone Crusher Smith. A happy guy after getting that win, I know. You can't be too 